in our country, Zambia, and other places in the world, supermarkets and shopping malls are almost everywhere. Supermarkets are large self-service stores that usually sell food and household goods. In Zambia, best examples of supermarkets are ShopRite, Choppies, Game Stores, and Pick and Pay. I'm sure you've been wondering how such big shops manage their sales and stock. Well, this lesson will discuss how supermarkets use computers to manage their daily activities. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to state common uses of computers in the supermarket and identify the significance of using barcodes in supermarkets. If you like our videos, kindly subscribe and click on the bell so that you are informed every time we upload a new video. By doing so, you will support us to create more and more. Thank you so much. This is a special computer system called the point of sale or the POS. It is one of the most used computer systems in supermarkets. The name Point of Sale or POS comes from a special software which records purchases and payments. The software also updates the stock of goods that are sold in supermarkets. POS terminals are usually located at checkout points. They include the cash register a printer for printing invoices and a barcode scanner which inputs prices and information of goods. POS systems are usually operated by cashiers. Let's look at how POS systems are used. Firstly, the cashier scans the barcode of a product into the computer using a barcode scanner. As each item is scanned, the computer outputs the price and description on the screen. After all items are scanned, the cashier presses a key on the POS to display the total price of items. Then the cashier enters the amount paid by the customer and the POS displays the change on the screen. The drawer of the POS system opens and the cashier is given time to count the change that is due to the customer. At the end of everything, the POS prints an invoice. Based on what we've discussed so far, the use of POS systems in supermarkets have several advantages. Firstly, it is easier for supermarket proprietors to get summary reports of daily, weekly, monthly, and annual transactions. The other advantage is that there are no errors when cashiers are making calculations. POS systems can update stock levels, thus making it easier to conduct stock counts and verification. 
because of POS systems, cashiers are able to handle huge volumes of sales effectively and efficiently within a short period of time. Now, let's talk about barcodes. A barcode is a machine-readable code in the form of numbers and a pattern of parallel lines of varying widths printed on a commodity and used especially for stock control. This is an example of a barcode. So, what is the importance of using barcodes? Well, Barcodes are used to identify and describe products. Barcodes are read by scanners which are powered by laser beams. This is an example of a barcode scanner. There are quite a number of advantages of using barcodes. Firstly, they help in generating stock sales and reports. They are also used to secure products from being shoplifted because unscanned items don't have invoices, hence making it easier for security guards to detect stolen items at the exit. Other merits of using barcodes on products in supermarkets are that it helps customers to check out quickly because cashiers don't have to enter product information manually. Furthermore, barcodes help supermarket managers to identify which goods are on demand and those that are not. This also helps them to plan for orders. Lastly, because all barcodes are preloaded with prices and description of products, they ensure that there is consistency and accurate charging of prices. Summary. In this lesson, you learned that computers are used in supermarkets to conduct daily transactions. Computer systems that are used in supermarkets are called point of sale or POS systems. These special computer systems record daily, weekly, monthly, and annual transactions that are conducted in supermarkets such as sales and stock. You further learned that barcodes are used on products for stock purposes to generate description and prices. Revision exercise. A. What do the initials POS stand for? B. Explain how POS systems are used in supermarkets. C. What is a barcode and what is it used for? D. List advantages of using POS systems and barcodes in supermarkets. E. What is the function of a barcode scanner?